Hello and welcome to video number 360 on how to gear up in Star Wars Old Republic 7.0 Legacy of the Sith. Yeah, it's it's there's a lot of complexity to this topic, so I have been making multiple videos and I'm trying to cater videos towards different audiences and different needs. So what is the purpose of this gearing video and what am I trying to cater towards in this specific video? Well, there's two things that I'm going to cover in this video. The first thing is, does it apply to you or not? Are you a player who is not looking to grind up maximum item rating and you don't care necessarily about having the absolute best gear the game is able to give you? Then this video is going to apply to you. The other part is going to be the general overview. So this will be a quicker summary of the general overview of the gearing system, the different trees, paths, stuff like that. And you might be interested if you just want a shorter summary than my other videos which go into a lot more detail. So yeah, let's get started. First thing is, does this gear apply to you or not? If you are not level 80, this gear will not apply to you. They are still going to be level scaling planets. They're still going to be gear that's appropriate for your levels that you want to be putting on, wearing, so on. But yeah, until you hit level 80, no, this doesn't apply to you. Come back then. Once you hit level 80, there is going to be a minimum item rating that you're going to get. It's going to be 320. They've done this with pretty much all the expansions. For the previous expansion, Onslaught, item rating 270 is the minimum you get when you hit level cap 75. So level cap 80 is going to be bringing a minimum of 320 gear. I did complete a lot of content on the PTS using 320 gear. So there's a lot of stuff you can play with 320 gear without worrying about all of this stuff that's over here. Yeah, totally fine. I found that when I got into mass mode flashpoints, sometimes 320 gear was not sufficient for that content. Part of the reason why this is becoming a bit more of an issue than we're used to in Onslaught is the fact that they've now rescaled everything up to 80. So no longer are you going to have the majority of the content being at level 70 with veterans edge stacks to boost you as your gear gets better. There's definitely a little bit more importance on doing this harder group content with appropriate gear, with having the right stats because yeah, it's level 80 now, so stats are uncapped, and there's going to be a big difference between players who don't have very good stats on their gear versus the players that do. Another thing that might mess you up a little bit is how they're changing how actual gear drops work. So, yeah, what's going to happen now is there's not going to be getting gear drops that actually give you upgrades anymore. Basically, the only way you're going to get direct upgrades past item rating 320 is from the weekly reward crates that give you a guaranteed upgrade piece. Otherwise, all of your upgrades are going to have to be done by going to a vendor, spending currency and your existing piece of gear to upgrade it to a higher item rating. The general idea that you want to think about is any content that drops green gear does not require more than item rating 320. So yeah, that's the general overview of how gearing is going to work. Do you need to worry about the complex gearing system or can you just deal with a very simplified version of getting gear? Let's move on to the general overview of the different gearing paths. So the first thing that I want to point out is we're now getting PvP specific gear over at the far end there. Yeah, PvP players are very excited about this change. It will have stats that are more catered towards PvP players, and it will be its own unique gear, and you can completely earn that by sticking within the PvP experience. You don't have to go and do PvP stuff. PvP gear will start at item rating 316. You buy it from a vendor, and it will progress as the item rating increases from green to blue to purple, increasing your stats, so on. There is going to be a cap in PvP content where anyone wearing higher than item rating 326 will have their stats downscaled, so that there's a cap of 326, so operations players do not get an advantage by farming higher item rating gear than PvP players. One area that you're going to notice a lot of differences and things have really changed is the player versus environment gear. So there's quite a few things they've done to change this. So color quality is no longer based on item rating, but the content that it actually drops from. As you can see, there is green, blue, and purple gear all starting at item rating 320. This is different from what we're used to. There are three main areas you can earn PvE gear, and each one has to be upgraded within that gear path within the same color. So we've got our conquest gear, we've got our flashpoint gear, and we've got our operations gear. And within the flashpoint gear and the operations gear, you're going to notice that there are multiple colors of gear as well. So if you're trying to continually increase your item rating, you cannot take a veteran mode green piece of flashpoint gear and upgrade it to a blue or purple piece of gear. You can't upgrade it to conquest gear or operations gear. So a little bit of added complexity there. You can still mix and match gear though. Don't get me wrong on that. It's still something that's completely viable, something that you're definitely going to want to do as somebody who's just playing the game, getting gear from different paths. Yeah, totally mix and match it. You can sort it all out later. You are always able to get gear from all types of content through either the re weekly reward crates or directly from killing bosses and flashpoints and operations and this will allow you to start swapping around gear as you get a larger collection of gear at your current item rating that comes from all of these different paths. As I mentioned before, 320 gear is sufficient for everything that drops the green gear in here so don't worry too much about going crazy over the gearing. 
if your intention isn't to have the best gear or to play the harder content that drops the blue and purple gear. So how do we actually get new gear? What is this gonna look like? Well, at level 80, this is gonna be exceptionally simple. Just make your conquest, go to the vendor for the conquest gear, buy yourself 320 gear, done. There are other ways that the game will reward you minimum item rating 320 gear while completing content but it's just so easy to complete Conquest and get a set of 320 gear, might as well do that. After that, what are we going to be looking at? Well, if you're in the Conquest gear path, you have to upgrade it at the vendor by farming the currencies. You can do this by just playing the game, which is a very slow process, or you can do the specific content that's going to reward you the most amount of those new upgrade currencies. When you move outside of the Conquest gear path, you are able to upgrade your stuff at the vendor in the same way with currencies, or you can complete certain weekly missions like the Flashpoint Weekly, or a operations weekly mission which will give you a crate that has a guaranteed upgrade to one of your pieces inside of it. Provided of course that the maximum item rating for that content hasn't already been hit by all of your items. So story mode operations, if all of your gear is already at item rating 322 and you get a story mode weekly crate, there's no upgrade because 322 is the max you can get. The one thing that I do want to point out is I've got all these arrows showing different directions on the chart and everything like that. That means that you can move between these different gear paths in different ways. So for the flash points and the operations, it's as simple as killing a boss. You kill a boss, he's going to give you one piece of gear that matches the item rating of whatever that gear is. So yeah, you can move around freely, back and forth. It's gonna take a little bit of extra work, but you can do it. So there is your general overview of gearing in 7.0, your general understanding of what exactly is gonna be happening with the different gear paths, what you need to kind of think about as a player. If you are a player who's looking to get the best gear and you're looking on how to grind up, go look for some of the other videos. Some of them I have not published yet, but by February 15th, I will have a video out on all of the different gearing paths. As always, I really appreciate all of the support everybody gives me. I'm really enjoying seeing that a lot of my videos are now getting shared on Discord. A lot of people are starting to share my content because they think it's good content to teach other players. And that is one of the main purposes of this channel is wanting to be able to educate people, show them different things about the game, help them have a better experience, play the game, enjoy it more, all that kind of stuff. So thank you everybody who's been sharing my content. Again, thank you to all my Patreon supporters. It's pretty freaking amazing that people are doing that in the first place. Have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.